A historic moment as the Holy Father descended the stairs of the papal plane, he became the first pope to ever set foot in Iraq. I'm happy to resume my trips, and this is an emblematic trip, a duty to this land so martyred for so many years. Risking both physical safety and his health, committed to offering hope to the country's dwindling Christian community, plagued by years of war and persecution. Pope Francis greeted by dancing, music, and the Iraqi prime minister. <laughs> Missing? The crowds that usually line the streets for a chance to catch a glimpse of the Holy Father, a pandemic safety measure put into place to avoid spreading COVID. On his busy first day, Pope Francis visited with President Barham Saleh at the Presidential Palace. He's who initially invited the Holy Father to Iraq back in 2019. While here, Pope Francis gave his first speech, laying out a path to peace. International support, including with vaccine distributions, eliminating the idea of second-class citizens and asking Iraq to be an example for the rest of the Middle East that coexistence is possible. Leader. Iraq today is called to show everyone, especially in the Middle East, that diversity should lead to harmonious cooperation in the life of society. The Holy Father completing his busy first day at the Syro Catholic Cathedral of Our Lady of Salvation in Baghdad, the site of one of the worst massacres against Christians. The attack by terrorists from the Islamic State happened during evening mass. 58 were killed, 48 of them Catholic, men, women, children, and priests. We are gathered in this cathedral of Our Lady of Salvation hallowed by the blood of our brothers and sisters who here paid the ultimate price of their fidelity to the Lord and his church. He called their deaths a reminder that violence is incompatible with authentic religious teaching. The cause for canonization is underway for the 48 Catholics martyred in the attack. Christine. Emily, such a heartbreaking attack on Christians. Now, you briefly mentioned uh, the dangers, both in terms of physical safety and health. So how dangerous is this trip for the Holy Father? It's actually being considered one of his most dangerous foreign trips that he's ever taken. I mean, we have to remember just a few days ago, an American actually died in rocket right. attacks in Iraq. Um, 10,000 security to forces were deployed to keep him protected. And we also have to remember that the pandemic is still a threat. Um, so it really shows his commitment to the people in Iraq, to the Christians in Iraq, and to promote, promoting interreligious dialogue. And you see the joy that he's already bringing to the country. Thanks so much, Emily. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content, because we are putting your faith in the news.